We are happy to be joined by author Gina Conley. Her new book, Training for Two, to help new mothers <laughs> stay strong and healthy before, during, and after pregnancy. It comes out September 10th, your first book. Yeah. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind letting people know about what to expect with pregnancy and staying healthy before, during, and after. So after the birth of my first daughter in 2017, so this is baby number four, wow. we've, we've liked to expand our family. <laughs> Um, I didn't know what to do during my pregnancy when it came to exercising. I knew how beneficial it was for both me and for my baby, but I had no idea, like, how do I modify my exercises to stay safe? Because there's so many lists of movements of don't do this, don't do that, and it leaves you with not a lot to do. And so I decided to create programming and to create an entire business that was all about helping people feel confident navigating pregnancy with exercise because there are so many benefits for both the mother and for the baby to move intentionally throughout the pregnancy. And I really like lifting weights and so I wanted to help people continue to safely lift weights throughout their pregnancy with different modifications. And so we include that all in the book of how to lift throughout your pregnancy, what type of exercises are beneficial throughout the pregnancy, which ones are maybe not as safe to do, in addition to movements that you can do to help prepare you for birth as well, because there's a lot of different things that we can do to help support that. When did you come up with this strategy and start implementing it? Was it after child number one, two? Number one, after, after number, number one, one okay. I started, I went back to school, I got my master's degree in exercise science, and we started to figure out what what do people need to do throughout their pregnancy. And we had an in-person gym, so I was working with prenatal clients in person, and we were figuring out what movements felt good for a lot of folks, what movements didn't feel really great for them, and started figuring out all of our different modifications. Mm -hmm. After about a year of doing Trust the Fitness, I became a birth doula, and so I was supporting births in person and noticing what type of movement patterns were people during, doing during their labor that they needed more support during. Mm -hmm. What kind of issues were we seeing during labor that could be fixed with movement during pregnancy? And so we started incorporating that all into our programming as well. And so we have the strength movements in addition to different pelvic floor release exercises, mm -hmm. hip mobility movements to help create space within the pelvis to make it easier for baby to kind of navigate through. And we've had a lot of success with our in-person clients and then we have a pretty large online following as well that does our programming all over the world, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot about preparing the pelvic floor, but are there any exercises real quick that people should essentially avoid during pregnancy? I would say anything that has like a big fall risk mm -hmm. would be like the one thing to avoid, but there's no really inherently dangerous exercises that you can do throughout pregnancy. And then just being mindful of like your environment, like not working out in a place that's too hot, like making sure that you're hydrating well, things that we would typically do for a normal person that is not pregnant, exercising, like making sure that we're not gonna like cause like heat stroke or like heat injury. Um, but there aren't really any exercises that are inherently dangerous other than things that might call, cause more of a fall risk. Well, looking forward for this book to come out. What's, where can people get it? Amazon? They can get it on Amazon. I think anywhere that you can buy books. Uh, but yeah, Amazon is where we primarily promote it because it's just so easy to get it overnight. Love. Big fan of Amazon over here. Yeah, you don't have to wait nine months for it. You can get it the next day. That's how good it is. Tina, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Congrats on the book. Thank you so much. Congrats on baby number oh, four thank as you. well. Best of luck. We're back with the final hour of the newscast right after this.